Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbback. At the end of the previous episode we transferred loads of slurry to the BGA and it's still processing it. It's actually processing it quite quickly. Um, so yeah, we're producing digestate and hopefully biogas as well. So that's all good. We can just leave it. Leave it to get on with uh, what it's up to. I think it's going to be best now to get this tank of, well this tractor taken back to the other farm. Let me just see how much slurry we have. It's filling up again pretty quickly actually. Uh, okay. Um, so in that case, really, uh, maybe we should take a, a load of slurry with us. We could go and put it onto the other field. Let's just drive around the corner here. The fill point is actually where the tanker is. We are going to sell the milk. Because the price is at its best today. It's extremely good. How much do we have? 56,000 litres. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, in that case, actually, what we'll do is we'll actually do the milk first, much more efficient that way, otherwise we're going to have to go back to the farm just to return to here okay yeah, so lots and lots to put into there, lots to make let's have a look at these prices we can take some to the dairy although actually the bakery is offering more, which is very rare wow right so, to the bakery we go. Looks like it's going to be two loads, so it won't take too long. We'll put the beacons on. No time lapses to begin with. We've, we've seen this journey many times, so we'll just uh, jump cut. We'll watch the money roll in. Load number one. Here we go. Yes, well obviously from past experiences we've established that milk is worth a lot of money. We are actually saving for the new field, which we might be able to buy today if the previous crop has been harvested. Uh, field number 68. The reason why we want it to be harvested is to make it fair. No, it's past it anyway. It would take me forever to harvest it. Yeah, because basically we sold this field here, but we didn't redrill it first. So just to make it a little bit more challenging, we want this to be harvested so we have to drill it first. We don't want to be taking the easy option every time. But there we go. Load number one is £71,000. Brilliant. Let's go and get load number two. Yeah, hopefully we can buy that new field in October. Oh, a man in the road. It's alright. It's alright. He's, he's a hologram. Load number two. Still 77%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, I'll see you over at the bakery. Cracky, I'm actually taking this to the dairy, aren't I? I thought it was a bakery. It's full. Now, we'll go to the bakery now. The problem is, I think the bakery is... Um, yeah, we're going to hit the limit. We're going to hit the limit of both. Oh, crikey. This is unfortunate. We might be leaving the tanker here. So it doesn't matter that I've been taking it to the dairy. Because, yeah... The limit's going to be hit at both places. Makes no difference. Where was the trigger anyway? So it hit. Oh no, I've crashed into the bakery. Oh no! Now who puts that sticking out? <laughs> right. Oh no. My driving gets worse. There we go. But the question is how much would it take? Oh, not much at all. Okay, well, in that case, we really have no choice but to leave that there. We've made too much milk, somehow. Right, so we're going to pick up the slurry tanker. And we'll go from there. I think in the past I've probably been going a long way around to get to that field. So we'll soon change that. But yeah, again, we should really have this on the uh, bigger tractor. Oh, I was going to buy a new tractor actually today. Maybe we should buy it now. That'd be fun. It's an old Zarian. I just found it on ModHub. It's just recently been released. And it looks really good. So actually, what we could do is actually detach this here. Keep this tractor at this farm, because we do need it at this farm. For the feed mixture and stuff. And then the jobs which this one used to do can be done by the Zerian. Now, I'm guessing it comes with the large tractors. It does indeed. It's not too expensive. We want to go for a fairly high horsepower, though. Basically the highest. The, the Zerian 3000. And... 
Yeah, white eyes are always good. Don't think we need anything like that. I think we'll just keep that standard. I don't really know the difference. <laughs> so yeah, 95,000 pounds, there we go. Nice addition to our fleet. Very nice mod. Yeah, never actually been in one of these older ones in real life. I've been in the slightly newer ones, well it was like 2010 I think. Yeah, it was new in 2010. So, newer than this. What did they say, 99. But I guess the idea is always quite similar with the Zerian. Yeah, we'll see how good this is at pulling the tank out. I believe they're quite good at road work, aren't they? So, it should be quite good. Here we go. Let's see how well it does. I suppose it is only a bit more powerful than the fence. We wouldn't have wanted to go smaller. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll take this turning left, and that should take us to that field without having to go all the way over the top, over the bridge where I was crashing into other cars. Yeah, this is a shortcut I should have been taking on many occasions, but didn't. Just really through not realising that this road was even here. So the field where the baler currently is, is not ours. Uh, we might buy it one day, but I'm aiming to go further north. Although really, probably silly, it probably would be better to be this side, because we're sort of between the two farms. Right, well we definitely have enough slurry here for this field. Uh, so let us get it engaged, engage the PDO. And we'll get it done. And then, it should really be drilled. So we'll probably come along with the drill and do that. I'm trying to make the most of our own fertilizer, slurry and manure. Um, it's supposed to be cheaper, but I suppose because I keep buying new stuff, it's never cheaper. But then granular fertilizer is not cheap. That's expensive. Well, it's doing a good job. Let's just see how well it performs going uphill. Looks like 9 miles per hour is the maximum speed. Maximum working speed. So, what can it do going slightly uphill? Will it be affected by it? Nope. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so we'll do this, and then we'll probably take this back to the farm, and we will then drill this field. We still have a field to harvest as well, but it might not be ready. Yeah, I like it. Good Zerian. Very good Zerian. It always seems uh, funny having the exhaust out the front, though. I always think it's in a vulnerable position for, like, if you hit a tree or something. Just bend it off, I don't know if it is or not, but, um, yeah, because normally like, the exhaust tends to be, like, near the cab. That's way out the front. 
don't know. I guess, yeah, it must be uh, well thought out though. So that is the canola done. Obviously we had to put a crop in which can be drilled at this time of the year. Canola being one of them. Lovely. So that's a, a good field. We'll have plenty more drilling to do in the future. But for now, what we will do is take it back to the farm. I hit every single time I go over that bridge, I hit it. Um, yeah, and we'll see if we can move on to October to do the harvesting, because I don't think that other field is ready yet, which is amazing, because it is wheat, but and I guess it was put in at a bad time, I suppose. Okay, so here we are. Yes, many of these things are rented, but we are going to buy. A lot of them is on buy to rent. No, sorry, rent to buy. That's probably the best way of saying it. Um, it would be pretty weird if we were buying to rent. Somebody else would be renting from us. So, there we go. Just quickly check upon those cows again. Yep, yep, they can be uh, left as they are. So can the sheep. But depending on how many pallets we have... Uh, what do we have? Oh, we've only got one, okay. We'll, we'll take that to the spinnery. We've got the corn as well, but I think that needs to wait one more month. Although, it probably can be uh, done for silage like that. One pallet of fabric. Pretty slow production, really. Although, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be harvesting the corn as a as a, a kernel, um, so we don't want to be chopping. We don't want to be cutting it when it's green. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, let's move on. Hopefully, our wheat is ready. Oh, what? What's up with it? It hasn't grown at all. What's up with this field all of a sudden? It's glitched, hasn't it? For some reason, this field is glitched. Well, that is it hasn't grown at all. It literally is not growing. So, um, well, there is a way around this. I think we had it fully fertilised. I've had this before. Uh, I don't know if it was... I think it was probably another map, but... Yeah, where the crop just never ripens. Really weird. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thankfully, <laughs> there is a solution to this. When I have harvested the area which I should be harvesting, if I set the field type, the, the ground type, back to cultivated, this will disappear. So, <laughs> yeah, we have a great crop today. <laughs> it's all growing inside. Right, I didn't want to do that anyway. That was just last resort, really. So, let's start up the Massey Ferguson. This fantastic tractor. And we'll get it spun round. Coming through. There we go. And, yeah, obviously, uh, like a large area of the field which I was hoping to use to fit the header to, fit the header in, has been turned to uh, wheat. So, we are just going to have to drive a little bit in the crop. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. I guess it's when you pause seasonal growth and then resume it. Because that's the only thing which I've done differently. Let's carefully attach this. There we go. So yeah, we will be swathing this. We do have the baler. I don't think we are going to be doing pellets. In fact, the pellet hall potentially could be sold. Um, oh, of course, that area there was not incorporated into this, but I suppose we did get another area elsewhere. Yeah, just not the, not the ideal situation at all, but that's just the way it is. So I think what I'll do to make this easier is just slightly cut into here meet up with the road and then we can come back for that little triangle. 
it's the best way of doing it. And then we're going to need the trailer in the field, and then we can bail it. Load number one. I don't know if this field was fully fertilised. I think it might have been. But it's definitely yielding high. So, yeah, we'll probably just about get the field finished on the next load, next combine load. Might just about run over onto load number three. Uh, which is saying something, because it's not a very big field. And that's quite a big combine. Right, so there we go. Uh, whilst that is unloading, what we'll do is we'll get the quad track taken up there so we're ready to bail, probably next time. And yeah, we're going to be keeping the straw bales because obviously we're getting through them like mad with the feed mixing and the bedding. But yes, it still doesn't matter that I sold the first load because we've got loads. <laughs> we're still going to have loads because this field has yielded so well. Right, so we'll get this taken to the field, we'll just leave it at the side and then we'll get the combine rolling once again. Well, we are pretty much there. We have almost got a full load once again. We'll just head up to the top. Yeah, so basically two full loads, which really is not bad going at all. There we go. Right, well. We can leave this straw here for the next episode and we can bale it and then we'll take all the straw over to the other farm with the order stacker. Actually, we've still got that piece over there, haven't we? <laughs> uh, so actually, yeah, in that case, it was just a bit more than uh, a full load. Because that was going to be like 5% of a combine. It's next to nothing. It's a big trailer. Is it worth putting the auger in? Probably just so I don't bend it when I hit this tree. Oh, not even 5%. 2. Can we hit 3? Maybe 3%? Oh, that'd be so good. No. Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I guess. Right. So. Yep, we'll get this put into storage. I think the price won't be high enough just yet. We can get more anyway. There we go. And actually, that might be the end of the. Uh... No, no, we'll keep we'll keep hold of it. There's no point returning it just yet. Then we are going to have to return the header though, because the other one is a cornfield. There we go. Yeah. So we'll obviously deal with this field. Then we can do the corn next time. Put the corn into the corn dryer. And we can sell dried corn. So from this whole field, 63% of the trailer. Very big trailer though. 22,000 litres, I think that's very good going. That's good. Yeah, can't grumble at that. But I think it would be silly to sell this right now. It's better to hold on to it for the time being. And then once we have done all the straw, We'll finally be able to start returning some of the rented stuff. The stuff which we're not planning to buy eventually. 
very happy with the purchase of the Class Zarian 3000. Good tractor. Okay. Right. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.